Hi everyone, this is Olivia back with Crafting with Ollie. Today we are going to be making this lemon tree. Um, the only difference of course is going to be the basket. It's not going to be the same. I This basket I got at a Hobby Lobby. So, But let me show you what uh, materials I'm going to be using for the, the other one that I am going to be making. I'll put that one down for now. Alright, uh, for this you are going to be needing a bucket. And I got this at Dollar General. A styrofoam ball. These are at Dollar Tree. A plunger. I already went ahead and picked, uh, lifted it up this way. And I also stained it with uh, wax. Uh, decor art uh, wax. I stained that. You're going to be needing some uh, floral uh, pins. They're like... If you haven't seen these, they're like U-shaped. So you can stick them in. And like I said, this is a foam ball, so it'll go in there. You're going to need some uh, wire. And a vine. And of course, lemons. Uh, different size lemons. This vine, I... Uh, I've had it with me for a while, so I'm going to be using this vine to wrap the, the ball with. And now to begin, I'm going to be making a hole at the top. I'm going to be using a screwdriver, just a uh, plain screwdriver, just to uh, puncture a hole. And this is going to be uh, to insert on top of this plunger. So if you can see, all I'm doing is just making a hole on the top of the ball. And that's going to allow me to put this on top of the plunger. Okay, I just need to make it a little bit more wider here. Once you get the ball in, you, it'll stay there. It won't come off. Now, to keep this from moving or uh, from being a uh, wobbly like this, you're going to be using filler rocks or stones, whichever you want to use. Anything that's heavy. Um, on the one I have over here, the one I made, that one I used just rocks that I picked up at at Lowe's. I went to the parking lot and they have rocks in the parking lot and I just went ahead and used those so let me go ahead and do that and add these stones in here and that'll just give it weight to keep this from being so wobbly and uh, you can get these stones at at the Dollar Tree for a dollar well you know everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar <laughs> And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use two, two little baggies of those stuff, uh, filler rocks or st stones. That'll keep this from being wobbly. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to start wrapping this vine. And this vine is about three yards long. And what I like about this vine is got these little little circles so you can use you can use the pins and uh, stick them right through that circle. So as I'm going to get started with this, I'm just going to start pinning this vine down onto this onto this ball. I'm just wrapping it around 
uh, trying to get good co coverage of that ball. And um, later you'll see the empty sp the spaces that you still see. I will go ahead and cover them up. make the uh, squeeze the leaves and make sure that they are standing out. I'll rotate this way to see how I'm doing it back here. And the pins, I'm just putting them every, uh, where I feel that the, the vine is loose or it's going to slip off. I just go ahead and that's where I put the, the pins down. And I want to make sure that I don't, that all the leaves are sticking up like this. Gotta be turning it around to see how it's coming out. If you notice that it's slipping, just grab a pin and pin it down so that it'll stay. I've seen, uh, I've seen people do it uh, different ways, and this is my idea of how I wanted to do it. Uh, so I think it came out okay the way I did it. So, And I like how the styrofoam ball holds the pins down really good. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. Okay, so there I, I, I went ahead and used the whole uh, vine. Now I, I went ahead and got another vine. This These leaves are a little bit more different but the way I'm using these leaves is uh, I'm getting the ones that have three sections like that and inserting them in the spaces that you see the ball still. And that these I'm using them as the filler leaves just to cover up. And I'm just gonna be going around the whole uh, area that I see the ball still uh, showing and I'll be covering it up like that with the filler leaves. This vine I got it at Hobby Lobby. This the one that I'm I'm using right now where I'm tearing out leaves from. And uh, they had a sale on that on this vine for uh, they were fifty percent off. That's why I went ahead and used that one. Bought this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going around the uh, the ball, filling in the spaces, and uh, I'll be right I'll be back after I'm done filling up all these little uh, empty spaces. Okay guys, I, I went 
went ahead and did a couple of areas that I, I still see some spots but it's okay because that's where I'm going to be using the lemons to to uh, to cover that up now for the lemons I got a, a, a bag of these at uh, Hobby Lobby and um, what I'm going to do is I pulled out the sec little thing that I had down here and I'm going to get a wire a floral wire this one's wrapped in green and I'm going to snip a little piece off and poke it in into this lemon the lemon is foam uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue in there so it'll stay in I don't want my lemon falling out so I'm gonna just put some and this wire is just going to go in and stick in to so some of the areas you still see the ball this wire is a little bit too big I'm gonna snip it off a little bit it doesn't need to be that long okay that's about two inches there and so here I just uh, slip in the lemon and notice how it covered up uh, a white space that was there and then you just go around and, and looking around to see where else you're going to add another lemon and again this has a little star down here that I slip out so I can put the wire in get your wire cutter and cut a little piece put a dab of glue in there so that the the uh, floral wire can can stay in and not come out you more or less see where you want to put your next lemon I think I'm going to put this one here and if you still see that you've got some more spots that you're I, I still have some more greenery that I left over that I'm going to go back and fill in the spots but I, right now I'm just filling it in with lemon so that then the rest would be like the greenery okay I already went ahead and uh, filled up all the empty spaces and I even put a little couple of flowers uh, to make them look like little blooms next I'm going to do now is the co uh, cover up this uh, bucket I went ahead and bought this ribbon at, at uh, at Hobby Lobby, I, th I thought I, I liked it. It was really nice. So I'm going to be using this ribbon. I'm going to put some glue here on the end. I'm just going to wrap it around. how this black ribbon black and white looks together and it matches it's gonna match the bow I'm gonna attach to it I'm gonna be making a bow in a few minutes to add to that one of the handles of this just like I did with the the other basket I made okay, and all I'm doing is just wrapping this around and gluing it down securing it down this is a section where the the ribbon ends so that's where I'm, I'm going to be putting my my bow here on this on this area to cover up this it this where it shows the, the ribbon where it ends to pick this up and add a little glue so it'll stay up
Just to get it tight, I'm just pulling it back here and I'm going to add glue back here. So it'll stay tight on. I'm going to uh, fill up this uh, bucket up. What I'm going to use is just uh, whatever em empty plastic bags you have. Just go ahead and use it as a filler. it up and then just get some some moss and just cover it up see the bags in there it's just to give it up the height so you can fill up your moss that way you won't be wasting all that moss it's just a little bit right here at the top okay this moss gets a little messy here let me clean this area up Okay, the next thing that I just need to do now is just put a little decorative bow on it. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to tie it on this end right here to cover up the section where the, the, the ribbon meets over here. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is a bow. And this, this uh, bow, I'm going to get start off this way where you live. This is going to be the tail you you squeeze it here and you make your uh, loop that and it goes to the right and you gather again right here where you started your tail and then you twist it to make your next loop and again it gathers here in the center Make sure the, the, the loops are the same size. So bring it over and see they're the same size. And bring this section down. Make sure that the, the correct, you twist it over so that you can see that it is the right side of the bow is facing the front. And then you just grab your scissors and cut off the length of that. And I'm still holding it here in the center. I grab a piece of uh, jute rope and I wrap it down the center right here. Make a knot in the back. And there you have your bow. Of course, I'm going to dovetail these ends. This is going to be a, a two, two layer row, uh, ribbon or bow. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with this but now with this with the Jingham uh, ribbon. Again the same thing I do it again. I, I pinch this to start the, the tail. And this bow is going to go under the yellow. So you can kind of measure it to see that the, the black is kind of bigger than the yellow. Okay, you squeeze it here. Do the other side.
measure to see that they're the same length, the, the two sides. Bring down the other tail. Now you're ready to cut. Grab a piece of jute rope and then just wrap it around. And from here, I'm just going to attach it not this back here. I'm going to put the yellow one on top. Make sure I have my details correct here. The yellow one, I'm going to place it on top, and I, I already had the, the jute rope around here, so I'm just going to tie it on to the black. A double knot in the back of it so it'll, the yellow will be on top on, on the on the yellow, on top of the black okay and you just gotta fix your 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 tails and and now you're ready to do dovetail the the ends of all your tails here I'm not that good a bow maker, but this is as good as it's going to get for me. So I, I think it looks okay. I noticed this one was a little bit long, so I'll just even it out by just cutting a little bit more over here to even it out. So there you have it, and you have these little strings back here to tie it to the to the little hook here handle of the bucket. That's how I'm going to put my little bow on. Double knot, and there you have your bow on. And again, you can trim if you feel like these are too long, or you can trim these down and just fluff your bow up a little bit. There you have it. And I always put something in the center so. I have these little daisy flowers here left over from the, another, the other project I was working on. And I think it looks cute on here, so I'm just going to put a little, little daisy down the center and cover up the jute roll. Let me go ahead and cut these little strands, extra strands that I have here. And there you have it. That's my lemon tree. And uh, anybody liked what I made, I hope that you give it a try. And most of the pro uh, objects I got from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. And uh, thank you for watching. And again, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.